Hi guys, thanks for joining us. We are back with one of my absolute favorite um, picture books, Look Up. We've got Nathan and Depo who have got an amazing event planned for you guys. So over to Nathan and Depo. Hello. Hey everyone, hello, how are you all? We hope you're all really, really well. <laughs> we hope you're good, we hope you're ready. We've got a lovely session planned for you today. Um, Nathan and I are going to be doing a reading of our book, Look Up. Ooh. And um, we're also going to be doing a draw along as well of Rocket, the yeah. character from our book. And we're also going to be doing a Q&A for you guys um, afterwards where you get to ask us questions. So we're going to kick off by introducing ourselves um, again, even though Amy gave us a lovely intro. Um, Nathan, you go first. Yeah, so uh, my name's Nathan Bryan, and I am the author of Look Up. Um, I, I, I write kids' books, and I write lots of other different stuff. I write stuff um, for a lot of stuff for CBBS, like Apple Tree House or Rasta Mouse or Giggle Biz. Um, and yeah, I just love writing. And I was, I'm, you know, I had the opportunity to make this amazing book with Dapo. Yep. And my name is Dapo Adiola, and I am the illustrator of the wonderful Look Up yeah. and the upcoming Clean Up, oh, yeah. which is a follow up to Look Up, yeah. which Nathan also wrote. Yes. And also, some of you might know me for this book here, which is called The Last Last Day of Summer yeah. as well. So, um, I'm a children's book illustrator, character designer by nature, and um, two years into working on children's books in the children's industry and it's been an absolute absolute blast yeah right so now the intros are over should we crack on yeah so we're gonna go oh. for a read if you've got the book at home bring it Please. out um, yeah read along yeah and if you really haven't got the book at home i am going to be doing my best to show you guys the photos on my camera while nathan is reading the book to you okay yeah. right let me know when you're ready bro i'm ready right Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and I look up at the stars. Mum tells me that I never stop looking up and my head's always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. But mum says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the day I was born. All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space traveler who has ever lived. Like Mae Jameson, the first African American woman in space. <laughs> Did you know Mae Jameson went into orbit around Earth in the space shuttle Endeavour, even though she scared her heights? Mm. I'm totally prepared. I've defied gravity. I've captured rare and exotic life forms. I'm built a ship to the stars. And for today's mission, I'm going to see something incredible. The Phoenix Meteor Shower. I want everyone to see it with me. So I've made some flyers to hand out. There we are. Uh, Jamal's going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower, but first we have to go to the supermarket. While he's looking for milk, I'll be trying to find the astronaut food. Did you know meteor showers happen when Earth moves through the trail of dust left by a comet? Did you know most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand? Did you know meteors are bits of dust burning up in the atmosphere? And did you know the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark with no clouds? In the supermarket, when Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. Tonight, come out and witness the amazing Phoenix meteor shower. Everyone looks up. Kathy takes her microphone back as I hand out my flyers to the other people in the queue. I think Jamal might be a tiny bit cross with me. The Phoenix Meteor Shower will come soon. We better, drop the, um, we better drop off the shopping and get to the park fast. 
Ooh. <laughs> I wouldn't have happened if you just looked up. Now Jamal is even more cross with me. And he says he won't put me to the park anymore. But when we get home, mum saves the day. Come on, Jamal, she says. Put that phone down and take your little sister to the park. Yes. I jump up and do my famous victory dance around the house. I grab my jetpack rucksack, but Jamal's still glued to his game. Wait till I've completed the level rocket, he grumbled. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wowzers! Everyone's here and they're all holding my flyers. To the park, I yell at the top of my lungs. I'm all so excited. My neck aching from staring up into the night sky. But I won't stop. I can't miss it. Suddenly, the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. Everyone points their telescopes and binoculars up at the sky. I think I see one. Oh, but it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and wait and wait. It must be nearly time for the park to close. One by one, people start to go home. Maybe the Phoenix meteor shower was just a myth. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone's upset with me for wasting their time. I've never, ever felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today. Feels like the first time ever. I turned off my phone, sis, he says. I'm sorry for making you wait in the freezing cold for nothing, Jamal. Let's go home. Then suddenly, there's a big bright light in the sky. <laughs> Look up! The Phoenix Meteor Shower! I'm speechless, Jamal says. He pulls out his flask and gives me a warm cup of hot chocolate. Yummy. We both sit down on the hill watching meteors zoom across the night sky. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know, one day, I'm going to have a meteor shower named after me. The end. Hey. Oof, my arms are <laughs> tired. My arms <laughs> are tired. That was a lovely little workout there. Yeah, I hope well, you guys thanks. enjoyed that. Thanks, Daps. That was nice. Thanks. thanks. Yeah. Very nice. Nice no work. worries. No worries. No worries. Anytime. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got your pencils, your rubbers, and your pieces of paper ready, because the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a draw along of Rocket. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm going to go up and play a video for you guys. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to play a video. It's a pre-recorded video of me drawing Rocket. So, yeah. If you're ready, let's uh, let's crack on. Yeah. Right. Share screen. And when you've done your um, pictures, you can tweet them to us if you if we're on Twitter, just at our names, right? You're Daps yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Daps. I'm Daps Draws. Uh, Nathan is yeah, at Nathan Bryan. That's it. B R Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just yeah. So just just uh, tweet us the pictures on Instagram, or yeah. tweet us the pictures on this. Tweet us the pictures, <laughs> or send us the pictures on Instagram. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's do this. So we're starting off with two circles. Okay. When you're drawing, make sure that you're drawing really softly. Because it's easier to rub it out if you make any mistakes. So I shouldn't draw in pen. <laughs> uh, if you're feeling brave, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I've done it a few times, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. <laughs> right. So those two circles we started off with are where her specs are going to be. And what we're drawing now is her nose. Nose, great. Two little dots for the nostrils. And then we join the two circles with a line. 
and that's the frame for her glasses. And then we're going to draw the inside frame now. It's another two circles on the inside of those circles, keeping it light. Don't press too hard on the pencil. Yeah. Because you're going to get a chance to press really hard in a second. Right. So those are the glasses done. And now we're going to draw her eyes. Two slightly smaller dots on the inside. And then you can press down on these. You can like really get in there. And then her eyebrows. Oh, I've actually never drawn Rocket before. I've only ever done the count. <laughs> So, right, so this was a surprise for you. Yeah, this is. This is great. This is really exciting. Right, so now we're drawing her face. So keep it loose as you're drawing it. The aim is to connect a semicircle across the bottom from one end to the other like this. Right, just keep it real loose. So we're going to add her ears next. And we go to the joining where her uh, where her glasses connect to her face, and we draw a curve linking the glasses to the face on either side. I'm and then the star the earrings right. on the inside. Oh, so, children, if you're struggling with this, you can always ask an adult to help you with the drawing of the stars. Right. Now we're going to add the hair. So there's three braids on either side that lead to the top. So three on either side. Again, just keeping it really loose as you're going along as well. Don't press down too hard. So if you make any mistakes, you can always rub them out later. Right. And once you've got all six braids in, we're going to do her hair. So like the, the big kind of bunch of curly hair at the top. Just keeping it loose again. Just keep kind of just scribbly lines, nice loose scribbly lines. This is the most enjoyable part for me when I'm working on uh, drawings of Rocket. All right, and then you can come back to the braids and you add some straight kind of strokes with your pencil as well. Just keeping everything light again, mind you, at this stage as well. So if you need to rub anything out, you still can. I should have asked an adult for help because I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now we're moving on to the neck and we're drawing two straight lines for her neck. And then we're going to draw the collar of her outfit. Yeah. So this, uh, this recording isn't playing as we would like it today. So usually there's an audio and you can hear me talking you through it. So what we'll do is we're going to post a link up in the uh, the comments and chats area where you guys can find a video, the actual proper video of this with the commentary. So if you wanna do it again in your own time, you can do that. So this is the last couple of bits coming up here. Drawing her mouth now. Okay. How are you getting on? Oh, mine's is so bad. Like, I'm really worried about showing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to show it now. You have to show it. I'm, I'm shook. I'm like, <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh my god, it's she, she looks like I've, I've got I'm looking like a robot. <laughs> Listen, I've seen some, I've seen some pretty original rockets. Yeah, I've seen well, some is, pretty amazing original rockets. This is Robo Rocket. That's what I've done. That's book number four, right? Yeah. <laughs> Robo Rocket. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, I think we'll get there. That's it, all done. 
Right. <laughs> right. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It yeah. didn't. Oh, that's pretty cool. What are you talking about? That's pretty cool, man. It didn't exactly. It didn't exactly go as planned, unfortunately, guys. But what we're going to do is we're going to post a link in the chat. Um, I'll get on that now. Post a link in the chat to where you guys can find the video on YouTube. Okay. And please send right. us all your send us all your drawings of Rocket that you've done. We'd love to see them. Yes, and, we uh, would. Look, here's mine. So you should all, you know. If I can do that, I'm sure you That's the bar, everybody. That's yeah. the bar. I set it pretty <laughs> low, so you're <laughs> going to be fine. <laughs> That's the bar, so we should all be good. Right. Um, Amy, we are ready for your questions. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have my um, pen and paper ready, so unfortunately I didn't get to do the draw along, but I will be uh, sure yeah. to show you um, once I watch the video back and do it again. Sure, Did you do it and then you just don't want to show us? I mean, I'm not going to say that mine's looked worse than yours, okay, <laughs> but... But I don't feel comfortable okay, so. my drawing <laughs> to the entire world watching. Okay, fair enough. I'll let you redraft you it. You took that for me, so oh. I'm very, very, very grateful, Nathan. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to ask people if they've got questions to ask them, but I'm going to kick off with, where did the idea for Rocket come from? Um, yeah, I mean, Daps and I both have, like, versions of it, but the idea for the initial story came mm -hmm. from... Um, me kind of walking around Hyde Park with my girlfriend and to see the Peter Pan statue. Um, but I, I think that week I was just super busy and I was just constantly on my phone. And obviously I've lived in Lo London for 28 years. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the statue. And when I went to go and see it, my girlfriend kept reminding me to look up from my phone and stop being on like emails and like, you know, I think I was waiting for a call or something. Yeah. I was being very antisocial and not present. Mm. And that kind of, it's it, the the book is kind of a message mm -hmm. to me to be yeah. more present, and I think it's a message to us all to be more present. So that's kind mm -hmm. of my, that was my in. But what about you, Daps? Um, right. So how it all kicked off um, when Nath came to me with the the, the idea for the story. Mm -hmm. um, my job as a character designer is to go and basically just design the character of Rocket. So um, at the time, I don't remember, we didn't really have like an extensive conversation on how she was going to look. Nathan left that open to me mm -hmm. to kind of decide. He gave me a few pointers. Mm -hmm. The pointers were she loves space. She's mm -hmm. got big hair. She's a black mm -hmm. girl and she wears glasses. Those mm -hmm. were my pointers. So I went away and I thought, what kind of young person, what kind of black girl do I want to um, describe? In, and, and I say that in terms of what do I want her personality to reflect, right? And um, I went away and, you know, started sort of thinking about it, put together a little mood board with Nathan as well. Ooh. And then um, just had an idea. And I thought, you know what, let me base this on someone I know. So I based her design and her whole mannerisms and her attitude and her curiosity on one of my nieces um, and just literally try to sort of embody my niece in this character, in her boldness and just the way that she is. And um, yeah, that was it. Like, that was my inspiration for it, basically. Like, awesome. yeah, it didn't I, look too far from home. I know. I was like, when Dap sent me the first draft of Rocket, I was like, it's that. It, that's her. There was no, sometimes when you're working go a bit back and forth and stuff but it was literally like bing that's it someone in the comments has said recently it's been so hard to look up she's been stuck for her phone and i think what i love about the story is that there's like almost two stories running along it's like rocket that loves space but then also like jamal who's just forever stuck on his phone and i can definitely mm. relate to like especially now as well being yeah, a, like just being yeah. on the phone being or, present yeah and being or, or not being present yeah it's, it's, I mean, again, and, and it's, it's such a subtle way that the story, that story runs alongside, mm. um, Rocket's journey to sort of get everyone to look up. And then they sort of, the stories meet at the mm. end beautifully. And then boom. And, you know, when we, when we did this, we didn't kind of, uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe Nathan did it intentionally, but mm. I kind of was still trying to, I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. Like in in terms mm. of when I was doing the drawings and stuff, I wasn't I wasn't aiming for the magic that happened. Like mm. it was it was it just happened. Mm. And then it's just like okay, this is this is really good. This is good stuff. 
So um, yeah, I mean, it was it was both of our debuts as well. Mm. And I was going to say, do you, you know, have any tips for any young writers that may be watching and thinking, "Wow, I've got all these ideas in my head, but mm. I don't know how to put them all together and make them one story." Um, yeah, it's a really really good question. I think my one of my biggest learning curves was writing uh, for picture books. Is you've got to read as many picture books as possible because it's like a really unique concise way of telling a story so i'd say have loads of fun reading loads and then you can start seeing how stories are told in that environment um but for me most importantly like if you're starting out writing have fun that's it like write a story and just try and get to the end mm -hmm. so every story uh conventionally doesn't have to has a beginning middle and end so if you're just starting out what i do is i like to just work out what is my beginning where does this story start what is the problem? Every story has a problem that someone's trying to fix or overcome. Um, and how is our character going to do that to get to the end? And it doesn't always have to be solved at the end. Some, some of my favourite books end on a cliffhanger. But they're like three really just simple ways of uh, telling a story. But in saying that, that is just a conventional way. There's many exciting ways to tell stories that don't have a beginning, middle and end. And you know, just flow naturally with how we live. So don't just listen to my silly advice. Read loads and kind of have fun with it. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, my, my advice on that would be similar in terms of reading, like just read loads. Good, I think my opinion is the best writers are good readers as well. Like they read a lot. Um, and when it comes to writing, which is something I'm still very much learning how to do myself, my advice would be to just literally write everything like write it all down and then try and make sense of it later that's the best way and i think that what that does is it gets you into the habit habits of um editing yourself as well which mm -hmm. is a very i mean amy like yeah. i'm sure you can relate to this it's a very good habit to have for sure, um for sure. so just write down all your stuff write everything down yeah. it doesn't even have to make sense it doesn't have to be coherent mm -hmm. it could be snatches of ideas for example whenever i'm drawing characters i draw on loose sheets of paper mm -hmm. and then i link everything together to create what i'm creating afterwards mm -hmm. so yeah just yeah just write it all down just don't even don't, i mean don't set yourself any early guidelines just mm -hmm. write like right from that beautiful place and then make it make sense later. Amazing. Another question we've got here is um, what were the books that inspired you both as children or your favourite books? Oh, that's such a, uh, it's, it's so right. right. Yeah, go on. Um, uh, I feel like Daffo's got a, he's got his book to hand. Look at that. Yeah, fire. Fire, love that. I happen to have a bookshelf right next to me, so that helps. So like pretty much anything these two guys did, just any and everything they did mm -hmm. was just incredible to me. And it, it completely inspired me down the path that I've, you know, decided to go on. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are. Like, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. And oh, there's a there's a book here. Is it here? It's got to be here. Uh, oh, and I bought this from Roundtable Books. Shout out to the Roundtable Books Massive. <laughs> this book oh, is beautiful. absolutely incredible. Like this book is absolutely incredible. So yeah, these are some of the books, a couple of the books that inspire me to uh, do what I'm doing now. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm with you. I was a Amazing. massive Roald Dahl head. Um, oh, I loved, I mean, I know this is a bit older. Maybe I'm just, I can't really remember all the picture books that, that really hit me when I was young. Mm -hmm. But I read so many now that I just love. Um, but I also love the Unfortunate Events series. I remember seeing that and was just like, oh, whoa, this is everything I love. Um, but yeah. I just really liked his name, Lemony Snicket. I just really, yeah. really liked his name. Like, that was a really cool name. Kind of peculiar yeah. and weird and like, yeah. 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 Like, kids yeah. Perfect for the sort of books that he writes. So yeah. 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 That's a great question, but yeah. But now I'm reading more picture books than I ever have, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm reading like loads, so. I, yeah, picture books. I've been reading picture books for, I, I, again, a lot of people don't know. I'm, un, I'm um, self-taught, so I learned how to do this by reading picture books, which is again why I say, if it's something that you want to do, then you have to just like really consume the content, like read lots of picture books, pay attention to how the stories are told, mm. how the drawings work with the text. Yeah, you'll learn everything. It's an education. It's brilliant. Got a question here from Stacey. Dapo, if you could illustrate any book by any author, which would you choose? I literally just held it up. If I if I could illustrate any book by any author, it would be either The Twits 
or um, it would be either the Twits or it would be The Witches by Roald Dahl. Those are my two favourite books by him. Mm. And they're the two that kind of have, have the room for me anyway, personally, for the most crazy kind of um, reimaginings of the characters involved. Mm. Like they give you, I love, I love books that give me just enough fantasy elements mm. to, to go wild with and just enough real elements to root those fantasy elements in the real world. Like I love those. Do you know what thing you would change or keep the same? It would be interesting to do a black version of the witches, and when I say a black version, because we have, um, it, you know, in in uh, in the black diaspora, we have our own versions of witches and witch doctors and all the rest of it. So it would be very interesting to do mm. a version of that of the witches. Amazing. And if you could rewrite any story, I'm coming with all the big questions. Mm. Um, if you could rewrite any story, maybe even one that you've read recently. Yeah. Like, story uh, again that's a, that's such a good one i could rewrite any story it's so difficult would you put yourself would you put yourself as nathan in any of the stories you read as a kid which one would it be oh that's i mean yeah so in that one i would love i mean in a weird way I put myself in unfortunate events however it's very unfortunate those stories so right so, but I would like to put myself in like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and be Charlie, do you know what I mean? Amazing. Or like put myself in James and the Giant Peach, just for like a little brief experience. Because then after a while it gets long for James, so. It does, it does. I'm not trying to commit to that. I, I mean, he's that. eating peach every day for like a month, that's long. Yeah, too many, too many peaches. First day, that's cute. After that, that's long. Cool. So there's, there's a question I see here, which is um, who are our favorite picture book characters? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, great one. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'd say so far that my my one that I just I'm obsessed with is Julian is a mermaid. I just think I just think wow, it the illustration I Julian is I just I love it. He's he or they just are the best they can, mm. and I love it. I know this question wasn't asked me, but I'm going to answer it anyway. Yeah, go for it. Um, I think you know it's no secret to anyone. Mm. That I'm a massive Ruby's Worry fan. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I absolutely, yeah, I love Ruby. And I also love the story as well. Mm. It's a beautiful book. Isn't shout, it? Out to, shout out to Tom Percival. Yeah. Tom. Tom. What and about you, Steph? Okay, right. So, market, obviously, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, well I, I was kind of, I, I, I was kind of waiting for that. I mean, to, I've got uh, her right here. In. Obviously, yeah, really. I was waiting for that sinking. My my current favorite. We're gonna go with my current favorite because as a picture book illustrator, this is one of the worst questions you could possibly ask me because I can't pick a favorite. So my current favorite is this little girl, this little frog girl mm. from this book called Poco and the Drum. Um, it's written by written and illustrated by a gentleman called Matt Forsyth, and it's about this little girl Poco and her drum that she gets like and, yeah. and and her adventures with the drum i think um for me this is from an art artist perspective the the um the, the story is brilliant but matt's illustrations are just like so lush wow like, so lush and so amazing and he just really really brought her world to life and the thing about this is they are all hand painted illustrations and it's just like luminic but yeah Poco in the drum. This is my favourite one at the moment and my favourite character at the moment. Oh. Who's that by? Who's Matt me? Forsyth, his name is Matthew Forsyth. Amazing. Yeah, yeah that's my current fave. But yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. I think we're going to wrap everything up. Thank you so much. For Thank you for having us, man. Thanks for having us. Absolutely amazing. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Yeah, bye, just bye. before we go, just yeah. before we go, um, in the chat, Chloe has lovingly pinned the YouTube video for the Rocket read along and draw along as well. So you guys can catch up with it in your own time. It's all there in the chat. Okay, it's pinned yeah. to the top. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, bye everyone. Have a great Father's Day. Bye.